Hello, my name is Kenzie Woodbridge, and I'd like to convince you to vote for me as the next FSA president. If elected, you'll be able to rely on my knowledge and experience with the FSA, my bargaining experience, and my communication skills to assist me in providing strong leadership for our union. First, knowledge and experience. In my 18 years here at BCIT, I've seen this institution from all sides, as a precarious and a regular employee, as a member of both the BCGEU and the FSA, and as a student. I know and have worked with faculty and staff in all schools and at all campuses. In my 11 years in the FSA, I progressed from participating in departmental hiring to serving as a tech rep to participating in bargaining. On the board, I have served as policy trustee and board staff liaison officer, and I have been vice president for the last two years. I have represented the FSA at CAUT and at the BC Fed. I have strong collegial working relationships with FSA staff. Uh, I won't require any startup time to become familiar with the FSA's many complexities. Regarding bargaining, this will be a critical issue for the next president. Our current agreement expires next year, and we need to be prepared and ambitious in this coming round. As a member of the Collective Agreement Committee and bargaining team in the last round, I gained valuable experience and learned how important it is to prepare, to persist with a positive and creative attitude in the face of opposition, and to not give in on critical issues. This learning has been reinforced as I have acted as the FSA's chief negotiator in bargaining with our own CUPE staff in recent months. I am eager to start preparing for this next round and have the experience to support our bargaining team. Finally, the FSA president needs to be able to communicate clearly and concisely with you, the membership, with BCIT leadership, and with the FSA board and staff. I believe my career here at BCIT has demonstrated that I am an empathetic, clear, and strategic communicator who seeks to increase mutual understanding wherever possible. As some of you know, I also recently completed a master's degree in communication, and my thesis focused on supporting communities.